Okay, so this is um, our water cooling setup, which has since leaked, and you can see some damage there. We had two GeForce 7800 GTXs SLI set up there, um, Creative Sound card as well, which has been ruined. So now we're outside in the safety of the cold English weather. We're going to turn on the water cooling again and just show you what happens. There we go. There we go. As you can see, there's the drip. It's, there's a leak there. The chips are right for everything. And this water cooling setup is about three years old now, must be four. And it's not coming from any of the screws, it's just like a developed a crack in the water block. And it just drips down onto all the cars that were sat in there creating a nice puddle on the floor. So let that be a lesson kids. Check your water cooling setup intermittently. Now while we're outside, what happens if you tug on the wall? It doesn't do much. Let's tug on this one. Maybe it's not the wires. You squeeze the wires. You can't squeeze them. You pull them maybe. Leaks everywhere. The water cooling setup in question is a Cooler Master. Cool Master is standard. So don't buy one of them <laughs> because that can happen. It will leak and you will be left with blue graphics cards and puddles. And this is what happens when you pull the water out. Be hard to go. Right. Look at the water! Look at the water! It's green now. And that's the other board gone to its grave. Pump it out. Is now actually shot. Nice. So this is the end of the A8N SLI Premium. It's gone all blue. And the chance of Bevy some water going in again. And that's an AMD processor. Yeah, and the drain as well. So yeah. Don't buy water cooling kits. It's just not safe.